Now what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we will start working on our search component uh, and we will continue with this search results summary. So the component with this grayish background where we see the search term, the location, some metadata about the search and then this button group. So I would say let's get started and I think a good name for this uh, would be search results summary and since it's going to be exclusively used on inside um, search let's just create a folder in here and let's create the respective files so search results a summary.js file for the component itself and a CSS file search results summary dot module dot CSS and then inside here we will create the skeleton for our react component by importing react from react and then we will say export function search results summary currently we have no props and then we will return a placeholder div with search results sum summary and add a semicolon here and finally we need to wire this up so we can say search results summary over here nice so theoretically we should already see something yes so here is our placeholder text and but we don't want this text here actually we want this uh, big title here and the nice thing is that bulma itself so at bulma.io so if you go here to bulma.io you go to documentation and i think it's under elements yes title so it already has like a pretty decent styling for titles and subtitles so we're just going to use that so let's use this uh, title property or subtitle i don't know yet let's check and inside here let's delete this text and let's just say okay h1 class name equals uh, subtitle so this comes from bulma and then we'll say hmm, berlin no burgers and then berlin and the search term has to be bold so we will just say strong berlin and then space and then no the other way around of course burgers and then berlin and of course right now we hard code it in here but of course later on like we will take care of that and we will make everything dynamic i mean apparently people can search for different things okay so that looks pretty good mm, let's just think about how we're going to lay all of this out after we checked how it looks okay so here's our burgers and here's our burgers berlin now we need a grayish background uh, for this component like this light gray here so we will start with our css so let's go back and let's just say okay uh, search summary so this is going to be the class that uh, that will contain or that will have this grayish background and the background color and this is something I looked up with the inspector as well. It's super, super light gray. So you can see it's almost like two, almost only 10 is missing. So the difference between 255 and 200, 245 is just 10. So it's a super, super light gray. And apart from that, let's also say, uh, let's add a padding of two RAM. And we need to apply this class. So we're going to import our styles from our CSS module file and we say module.css and in here we can say class name equals and then styles at uh, search summary. Okay, so now we should already see something. Yes, nice. Um, that looks pretty good actually, yes. Now one thing, uh, we need to to align this properly uh, with our sub nav and top nav item so we actually want this text to be displayed right here but we want the rest of the back 
ground to be gray. So let's just add an additional container, um, which just has this gray background color. And then we can like continue working on the styling. So we can just say container. And in here we will say, we will add this background color. And this container, like we can make it a flex container display flex and that should be justify content center and we are going to make this the same maximum width that we previously had with 1100 pixels and this thing is supposed to take 100 percent of the available space so if we go back and say and give it the class we just created like styles.container and then we put all our stuff in here like all the elements we have so far in here then we can check out how it looks yes so what did we actually do just for recap maybe it was a little bit fast so we now have two classes one is the container part and this is supposed to be the like the part with the gray background color so everything that's gray here and it should extend to the full width of the screen because we want everything, like the entire background of this section to be gray. And if we go back to our screenshot here, then we see that the search term should be properly aligned with our navigation. And since we know that this navigation has a width of 1,100 pixels, uh, what, we are just, what we just did is we created a div we gave it a maximum width of 1100 uh, pixels and said it should take all the width available and then we just centered uh, the element so this is what we did with uh, justify content center so with that you center the elements horizontally and since we only have one element it will be displayed at the center um, one thing though if we say padding to rem, then it adds padding into all like for all directions, so top, bottom, left, and right. But we actually don't want this two rem padding here. So, and one thing to get rid of it is to just say padding to rem zero. And what this means is give this element a top and bottom padding of two rem and left and right padding of zero. So this is like just a short rotation and if we do this bam we get our search term nicely aligned so that looks pretty pretty nice actually and what we also need to do is we need to show this uh, text here right this metadata but that shouldn't be too hard so let's go back to our code and let's just make like a paragraph and then we're just going to say showing 1 to 20 what was the text showing 1 to 20 out of 400 and okay showing 1 to 20 out of 4 results okay and since the like h h1 is a block element like this p this paragraph uh, we'll go to the next, like, we'll go after it. So it will not horizontally align. But we actually want it to horizontally align. And the easiest way to do this is to just use Flexbox. So we're going to say display flex. And then we will just say I'll justify content and space between. And I think we've used this thing now five times this approach <laughs> so if we go just as a short recap if you say justify content space between it's going to maximize the space between the flex items and if you only have two items in the container then it's going to float the first element to the left and it's going to float the other element to the right and this is exactly what we did here so that's pretty cool um, but we should check something out, yeah? You see here, somehow this h1 dot subtitle, I think from Bulma, it has like a margin of 24 uh, p 
pixels. And it's just not aligned. Right? Oh, well, actually, it's not too bad. So is this like really aligned? I'm not quite sure. It looks like it. But anyway, let's just make this text small first. Okay. Um, inside our search summary, like we have this paragraph, right? This one here. And we want this to be smaller in terms of font size. Search summary and then paragraph and then font size 0.9 rem. I just think in this screenshot, it looks like it's slightly smaller, right? So it's not too big like this text. Okay, and now we can check again if we are properly aligned. So it looks quite okay. So we don't have to do anything with Flexbox or whatnot. Nice. Cool. Um, the next thing we should do is we should work on our button groups. But since this video is already like over 10 minutes long, let's just uh, stop it right here and let's just continue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.